Hello everybody, we are back again. Today we are going to uh, give lectures on Bahalaka. Uh, Bahalaka that we discussed previously are those who live in Limpopo Valleys. But this time around, we have decided to give lectures on the Bahalaka who live in uh, Kalahari areas or Kalahari regions. Um, because of the fact that uh, uh, colonial uh, scholarship uh, had denied the fact that uh, Wahalaka were living all over South Africa. So as I said in the previous uh, video about Wahalaka, that the history of Wahalaka has been de denied uh, everywhere. So you need to understand that the history of Wahalaka, it's a very, it's a complex, it's a very complex discourse. So in my today lectures, I'll focus or I'm going to draw inspirations or draw on previous authors, such as uh, Professor Ngoka. Professor Ngoka uh, is famous for writings, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a professor of history who wrote extensively about Botswana, origin of Botswana. Another one that people like a missionary uh, who have also uh, wrote extensively about Botswana, about the Sututswana people. Uh, uh, he, uh, his name is uh, uh, D.F. Endelberg. I also use some of the sources from D.P. Abrahams, as well as um, others who have contributed immensely when it comes to development of the theories of Bahalaka, uh, because of uh, Southern African people. So the idea here is to show you that black people were in the interacted before Europeans. So based on those literature I have uh, uh, and authors, you can see that there's a clear evidence that uh, the black South Africans, all of them are related to Bahalaka. I will illustrate uh, as usually by pinpointing or highlighting key factors that contributed to the development of identity of Wahalaga from Limpopo Velu right in the um, Cape, in the former Cape colonies. And here is the evidence-based information. Now, as you know that Wahalaga uh, um, are, are all over, are, 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 are the oldest tribes uh, to to arrive in South Africa um, where they met Khoisan, the Khoi, uh, uh, Khoi, Khoi, Khoi people or the Khoisan or Warwa, because the black people don't call. Can you believe it? Black people, the Ngunis and the Sutu Tuana, the Pedis, the Wasutu, the Zulu and Khoza, they don't call Khoisan, uh, uh, indigenous people Khoi Khoi, Khoi Khoi or Bushmen. They call them Baatwa. The Nguni people call the indigenous people Baatwa. Whereas the Sututwana group, they call them Warwa. They don't call them by, 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 by derogatory term as a primitive. They respect them. So I'll show you how the identity of Bahalaka had been compromised or was compromised by colonial scholarship to derail or to hide information of the earliest uh, group that is um, related to Bantu people. These people are called Batamaha. Watamaha, if if Kibahomu, Abahomu are people of the cattle, are called Batamaha. The word Tamaha in, in the Sutu Swana language, especially in northern Sutu, Tamaha it's a it's an ox, it's a reddish brown ox. Whereas uh, it's a reddish brown ox. So Batamaha, in other words, are people of the cattle or Bahomu. Now, as you know that in Batwana, uh, they are they are there's an expression that say homu uh, we also have we also have the 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 general opinion or the well known mantra among the Sututswana people where the cattle are valued because if you go around the the even the indigenous churches as well as the other areas you'll hear that they price cattle the reason why they price cattle is part and parcel of the Sututswana heritage as, as you know that uh, from the death, from the birth to death, 
its future everywhere. Even the spiritual area in the church, they don't, in other words, they don't worship cow. They revere them because they breed them. That's why you find this homuki mudimu, wangu emeti. Or in other words, when you get married, the parents will encourage their children to marry within people who own the cattle. As you must have, as you might have heard in the past that uh, some people say, um, uh, for, for example, when they refer that uh, you marry people who have cattle like yourself who are similar to you. But homu uh, the same uh, um, edge, it's also future among Arabs, Indians, and Europeans. You know, they practice endogamy. They practice endogamy. They marry people who are related to... Not to say, uh, I'm not encouraged, I'm not... I don't want to judge people, but I want to demystify the fact that uh, people, when African people practice endogamy, they will say, no, they marry relatives. That's not true. The fact is that all cultures, they practice endogamy. They marry people who have got same cultures as them. Now, let me return to the, the, the topic of the today. Now, you might have heard that uh, there are the people known as Vatsatin. Uh, the word Vatsatin, if you translate it in the Sutu Tswana language, it's, it means uh, people of the sun. It means Vahalaka. The tribe that lived called before the Tswana identity was formed, they are called Batsatin. Batsatin or Batamaha. In other words, Batsatin or Batamaha means Batsatin means people of the sun or Batamaha meaning Bahomu, Babina Homu. Can you see? And what's very sad is that many scholarship or researchers they have not concentrated on in, in, in investigating the nomenclatures but a thing or people of the sun they are associated with the tribe where Botswana come from as you know that um, to understand the identity of the Botswana or but the word Botswana you need to you need to analyze it we need to normalize analyze this noun or nomenclatures or verb the word Botswana meaning People from Ntwana Tati, Ntwana Tati. That's why they call. That's why they call about Tswana. My uh, based on the the, the uh, contemporary theories, the word Batwana come from people who come from Ntwana Tati, or where the 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 the, the, the sun come from. Ntwana Tati is around free states, as you are, as you might be aware uh, uh, of the fact that um, the the entire half I felt. You know, there's a, there's a kingdom of Marotta, which empire, Marotta empire, which was, you know, existing between 1600 and 1700. Once claimed that uh, their people are found from Limpopo, Velu, and Free State, to Free State. That's the Marotta kingdom that between, uh, that was witnessed by Europeans. So when Europeans come here, they found the biggest kingdom, it was called Marotta, which was under Bapedi. From there, there was the emergence of the Zulu. Shaka, the Zulu kingdoms, which is a recent, it's imagined, it's a recent identity. So Basutu are older, the Sutu Twana are older compared to, are older than Ngunis. Now, returning back to Batsatsing, Batsatsing are Bahalaka, are people of the sun. Some of them, they're distributed around Northern Cape. Because if you look at Batswana, I'm aware of the fact that many Batswana don't agree that they are related to Bahalaka. are related to Bahalaka as the previous scholars such as um, you know, previous scholars who wrote extensively about African uh, origin, or uh, such as um, one of the, 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 the linguists, his name is um, uh, Malcolm Gantry. Gantry. Malcolm Gantry argued that the Nguni, the Sutu Tuana, the vendors, language was developed from the same source linked to Bahalak. I agree with him. If you go to outside Limpopo, outside Polokwane, you find the people who speak Ndebeles. You go to KwaZulu Natal in Mutu, you find Batlokwa, they are also found in Limpopo. You go to Eastern Cape, next to Mount Ferris, uh, among Koza, you find the Sutus. You go to, now you ask yourself, why do we have the same Batlokwa among Gunis 
as well as among the Sutu Tswanas, simply because this group in the past, they were interconnected. On top of that, if you go to Skukune in Limpopo, there's a place in Skukune called Pukwane. Among in Skukune, in Makuru Tamara, it's called Pukwane. If you go to Northern Cape, there's a municipality called Pukwane, the same. Now you, and, and these people, uh, they speak the Sutu Tswana language. How is that possible? And the same place in the Northern Cape where Batsatsing ba, 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 used to live, there are people who use the surname Habu, Chweni. If you go to Limpopo in Capricorn districts, you'll find people whose surname is Chweni and Habu. Now you ask yourself, how is that possible? The pre-colonialism, the Bantu people were connected. They were then separated and classified into tribes. But however, this tribe used to have their own king, whatever. I don't want to involve in traditional leaderships. I want to focus on the interaction of the groups. Like I said, the group known as um, Batsatsing were the first. So Batsatsing mean people of the sun. But um, Batsatsing, a group that live in uh, Mohalakwena in Limpopo, as you know that, uh, you know, in fact, colonial government make sure that they took the sun. In other words, uh, if you look at um, uh, the theories that was proposed by previous authors of African, you know, uh, history and the identity for Botswana. Botswana are coming from Kahalaka, even though some of them, they deny the identity, they try to form another identity. If we have to use the contemporary scholarship of Botswana, this means that um, we have to agree that uh, Marota or B B Bapedi people were dominant to Botswana. Botswana, because Botswana could not dominate Bapedi, as we know that. Bapedi are not so true that are from Bahatla, and then uh, their, their, their total term is to used to be uh, uh, Habu. They suffer, uh, you know, uh, immensely under the colonialism, as we know that uh, they put a, a fight a gallant fight fighting colonization after they were defeated the Bapedi people were condemned to you know um, were in fact were isolated by colonial government and they also exploited to work in the mining in the Kimberley some of these Bapedi people play a major role uh, along with the uh, people like um, Matebele people uh, that actually live in Siabusha today and some Bawatokwa. The South African high felt was actually built by cheap labor of Bapedi and the auxiliary tribes. As you know that uh, the British architectures, Herbert Barker, when he built this, this iconic building that you find in Transvaal, this iconic big building were built by Bapedi and auxiliary tribes. Auxiliary tribes like Bakoni, Baluwedu, Bawatokwa. Yeah, British architecture Herbert, uh, Herbert Barker used them after the defeated of their kings uh, after the defeated of their kings it's like Jubere farms could not existed without northern Sotho groups such as Wapedi, Wachokwa uh, and other groups like uh, Wakoni as well as Ndebeles because as you know that Ndebeles that live in, 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 in Limpopo in Pumalangas their culture is related to Wapedi uh, as it's not in Nguni cultures, it's an it's a Sutu Tswana, it's a northern Sutu cultures, uh, actually anthropologically known as uh, are known as uh, Abahata, uh, Babirwa, Abahomung, and others. They are part of this Bahalaka people. So the point I'm trying to emphasize here is that um, ba, 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 many groups that call themselves um, uh, because the word Litsati or Batsatsing in the Northern Cape, they call Batsatsing or Bahomung. Those are the names that you can find. It's the people of the sun. The same applied to Babirwa, Homu, Homu, because they revere kettles. That's why, whereas in the Northern Cape, the same Batsatsing, they identify with Batamaha. Tamaha, as I indicated earlier on, Ki Homu. It's, an, it's a brown, reddish brown ox. It's called Tamaha. These names, it's called, it, can, it, can only, it can also apply to human beings, you know. You know I know that uh, this theory, it's not a sine qua non to analyze the origin of, uh, uh, of a halaka. Because some of you, you may think that uh, to use uh, this theory, it's an uh, infra 
dig. But as somebody who has studied history, I'm aware of the fact that we need to tolerate different opinion. In other words, the people known as Botswana, Northern and Cape Colony, are called Batsatsing. Batsatsing are associated with Ntswana Tsatsi. That's where the name Batswana come from. Ntswana, Ntswana Tsatsi. Batsatsing, people of the sun. So I hope you guys were able to uh, you know, learn something from what I've just highlighted about the 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 the, the, the Batwana or Bahalaka in the Northern Cape. This is a fact. It's not speculation. That's a fact that ba, ba, Batwatin, Batwatin are Bahalaka. The translation of the word Batwatin in simple terms, it means people of the sun. So Batwana people ba bolela. Kuna le Batwana in the, in Botswana in South Africa ba bolela lubuwa. Ubuwa. Ubuwa meaning coming from the north, Lebuwa. The word Vulela is come from a causa term, meaning thank you. In other words, the Sutu Twana and Gunis met before European comes. That's the reason why you go to KwaZulu Natal. In Mutu, you find the Zulu and Sutu live together. And you go to Northern KwaZulu Natal, you find Shangan and Zulus living together because the Zulu identity comes from Shangan. You go to Free State, you find Kozas and Sutu living together. You go to Northern Cape, you find Kozas. As Professor Ngoga argues, Koza and Sutu living together. And, 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 and Tswana living together. You go to Limpopo, you find Shangan vendors living together. What does it tell you? Why? What does it tell you? Every place that you find the Sutu Tswana people, you find Goonies. Every time you find where you find Goonies, you find Sutu Tswana people. It means that these people bent before classification of blacks. We are not saying they are the same or they live to. What I'm trying to say is that um, uh, in the previous terms, the reason why I mentioned Professor Ngonga is that his remarkable knowledge being a causer and going to master Batwana history, that's a remarkable feat. So in other words, Bahalaka, they are Bahalaka in Northern Cape. They call Vatsatin. The word Vatsatin meaning people of the sun. But in our books of history, you don't learn those things. When you learn about Bahalaka, you learn about divisions. Other people are removed from Bahalaka, you know, uh, uh, Bahalaka definition. Some people don't want to be associated with Bahalaka. They say, no, we are not Bahalaka. We are what Batswana are Bahalaka. The word Batswana meaning people from Ntswana Tati. The people from Tswana, Botswana, Botswana, Tswana Tati. And then Tswana uh, Tati where? It's where uh, Batsating come from. Batsating meaning people of the sun. That's all. Thank you very much. Until we meet again, sharp.